What's going on guys? Soldier only here from Sports Nerd Web. Welcome to this week's episode of Sports Nerd Web Weekly. This week uh, we got a little bit to get into, uh, mainly about uh, updates coming to uh, a few games. Uh, pretty much is what we're getting into this week. Uh, to start it off, the uh, first one we have is uh, No Man's Sky. Uh, it was just recently mentioned on Hello Games' uh, Steam page that an update is going to be coming soon. Uh, the title uh, says Pathfinder update coming soon. This week Hello Games will be releasing the next content update for No Man's Sky. We're calling it the Pathfinder update. It introduces a new vehicle that will aid home planet exploration, building on the foundation update to hint at a path ahead for the future. Detailed patch notes will be released when the update goes live. Shortly after we launched the Foundation update, we released a number of patches to address issues reported by players before beginning work on the Pathfinder update. We were surprised and excited by the response to Foundation, and we have been listening carefully to community feedback since then. To those of you who have spent time sharing feedback, whether positive or negative, we are listening. This is the next step in our journey. It shows the path forward. We hope you'll join us. Thank you. Hello, games. So I actually, obviously, No Man's Sky is a, a sore subject for a lot of people still, you know, and to say it had a rocky launch, you know, is probably the understatement of the century. But for me, like, I kept my expectations really low with the game. So when it came out and, you know, and all that, you know, how it didn't have all the promised stuff and now everyone was in uproar over all that, like, I didn't really find an issue with it. Like, for me... Uh, you know, I, I didn't really put a lot of time into it. I probably played, you know, like maybe eight, nine, ten hours tops, you know, but like what the game did, it did well, you know, like you do have to commend the game for, uh, you know, for what it did do. But yeah, I mean, it, I mean, you definitely can't say that they didn't deliver on a lot of promises. So I do like the fact that they are releasing, you know, free content updates, trying, you know, trying to add more stuff to the game. I mean, like, like I was saying, I haven't played the since the Foundation update, the last one they came out with. I haven't even tried that, but I did watch it, a little bit of it on stream. Uh, and pretty much what it looked like, it was just a, it looked like a really simple, uh, you know, like base building uh, mechanic and stuff like that. So um, it, it didn't really seem like enough to really, you know, bring me back into the game. I mean, it, I mean, it is a fun game to... You know, if you just want to relax, not really try anything really, you know, really, uh, you know, really hectic or action packed or anything like that. You know, you just want to relax, chill night, you know, and just fly around and explore some planets or whatever, you know, it does that really well. So uh, I'm curious, to, I am curious, though, to see what kind of future content that they're going to be bringing to the game. Um, this one on this Pathfinder update, they didn't say like an exact date when it should uh, be going live. All it said is that it should be coming soon. So I I don't know. Uh, still early in the month of March, so possibly this month. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. What I'm really stoked for, uh, though tomorrow for Destiny, Age of the the Age of Triumph. Uh, the first Age of Triumph reveal is going to be tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific on Bungie's uh, Twitch page, uh, twitch.tv slash Bungie, I believe is what it is. Um, they actually already released uh, a quick trailer uh, kind of previewing. Um, it, it was really cryptic, you know, in true Bungie fashion. You know, there was a lot of hidden uh, you know, messages in there, I'm sure. Uh, but it, I'm, I'm really stoked to see what this Age of Triumph is. Uh, in the trailer, it did show that we are going to be getting another book called Age of Triumph, and supposedly it says in the trailer that it's supposed to be the biggest book that they've ever had, which I think is a good thing because this, you know, most likely this has to be the last update for Destiny 1, right? Like the last like actual content update. I'm sure we will probably get other, you know, maybe like hot fixes or, you know, small little things like that in the future, but... This, um, you know, I, I think it goes without saying that this is probably going to be the last, like, actual content update for Destiny 1. So this is has to carry us over the summer until the inevitable release of Destiny 2. Uh, it's supposed to be the fall of this year, 
uh, whether it's fall, late fall, like winter, you know. So, I mean, like a lot of people, I'm kind of expecting it to be in September, which is uh, Bungie's kind of uh, the history, you know, that they've released a lot of stuff then. So, um, I'm really stoked for it, and they're actually supposed to be doing uh, they're supposed to be doing a reveal uh, every Wednesday leading up until the update goes live. Uh, I believe it's it's probably going to be, I think it's the last Tuesday in March. It's going to be at the end of March. I think it's like the 28th, I think. I'd have to look at a calendar, so don't quote me on it. But uh, I remember it's the last of March because, yeah, they're doing three reveals. So for the next three Wednesdays, starting tomorrow, uh, they're, they're going to be revealing uh, stuff from the Age of Triumph update. Uh, I mean, from the trailer and stuff like that, I think it's pretty clear that we are going to be getting the uh, the updated raids, you know, bringing all the old raids back up to current light level. And I'm I'm actually hoping that they actually raise the light level as well, um, you know, bring it to another light level. I would think that they would have to just so that players that have been maxed out for a long time, that they actually have something to grind for and to aim for. Uh, you know, like I said, because this content has to carry everyone over the summer, you know, right, until until we can finally get Destiny 2. I mean, June, we have E3, and that's when everyone's expecting them to actually show off and finally officially announce Destiny 2. Um, and, ho you know, hopefully we'll, you know, finally get some solid... I mean, we actually finally did get, uh, I think I think it was the TWAB last week, or it might have been after, but yeah, we where Bungie finally did say something about Destiny 2, how they did say that weapons and gear and armor and things like that is not going to be carrying over to Destiny 2, but your character will. Uh, like the way the way your character looks and uh, the hair and uh, the markings and stuff like that that you put on your character back in Destiny 1, that part will carry over. Uh, but not the gear or armor, or I, not even ships or shaders. Uh, the emblems, I'm not really sure. I... I th it would be nice to see that they did carry over the emblems just because there was a lot of members in the community that got like special emblems and stuff like rare ones you know and it'd be uh it would be dope to still be able to carry that over so uh but we'll have to wait and see I'm definitely going to be tuning in uh to Bungie's Twitch page tomorrow to watch this uh reveal stream most likely I'll I might you I'll most likely I'll probably do a special episode of Destiny Unplugged tomorrow uh, after the stream talking about the news and, and everything that, that we've learned in the stream tomorrow. Uh, as you know, I normally do Destiny Unplugged on Thursdays, but this week, because of the reveal, uh, you know, we'll probably do a special one tomorrow. So, <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still fighting this damn cold I've had for a while. But uh, that's pretty much going to do it this week. I do want to uh, just kind of make just kind of like make a little announcement and uh, just an update on the channel. Uh, I recently uh, joined this gaming community and kind of a Twitch, um, uh, kind of like a Twitch stream uh, stream team. It's a big, it's a it's a community of you know gamers and streamers and YouTubers, uh, you know to you know to you know, make friends with each other, you know, support each other, you know, with raids and stuff like that. Uh, I just, I was just recently added into the group yesterday, and it's already, I've already had a huge, just amazing experience with it. I had the biggest, warmest welcome, uh, you know, by by a lot of the members of it, and uh, it's it's just, it's really awesome so far. It really looks like an awesome community, and you can def you can definitely see the support that all the members of the team have for each other and it seems like a like a really good place so far and I'm really stoked to be a part of it. Uh if you're on Twitter you can check out hashtag uh I have it on the screen hashtag team MZ. That's with four M's. Check that check out that hashtag on Twitter and uh you'll see all the posts from all the teammates and have a look at everyone's uh you know their their pages, their channels, check out their Twitch channels that they have them, their YouTube channels that they have them. Give them follow subs, you know, if you like their content, uh, you know, hop in their streams, you know, be sure to say hi in chat, and, and I'm sure they, they would uh, be very thankful for that, so it's it's really awesome. I'm actually going to spend a lot of the day uh, looking at a lot of the member streams, and um, speaking of which, I actually did a really 
well, it was about, I did it for about three to four hours. I actually did a test stream yesterday, uh, and it actually went really well. So um, I think, you know, my, my Twitch channel is finally back and active again. Uh, as you know, like, my last stream was back in November uh, when I was streaming directly from the consoles, but I always had issues. They were always crashing. So, you know, I finally got a PC, and now I'm using OBS and kind of, you know, doing it the better way. So definitely good things to come from the channel in the future. Uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this week. Hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. Sub to the channel uh, for more content in the future. And we will see you in the next one. Cheers. Have a good one.